are usually made of plastic steel or a metal alloy and protect cables and hoses on moving machinery. They help prevent cables and hoses from tangling and getting caught in moving parts of a machine. Cable carrier style, styles can be either open or closed. Open varieties allow for easy access to the cables and visible access as well, whereas closed carriers seal off the cables from the environment to protect them from contaminants. Steel and other metal alloy carriers are best suited for heavy mechanical loads that run long distances carrying large cables and hose. Steel cable carriers can be designed to handle long-term temperatures above 600 degrees without negative impact. Through the use of stainless steel and or corrosion resistant coatings, a metallic cable carrier can have a high resistance to corrosive chemicals. Plastic cable carriers made from high performance polymer or nylon are usually less expensive than their metal counterparts and offer reduced weights while being corrosion resistant in hostile environments. They are usually used in more light and medium duty applications. You must know several details before you can decide if steel or plastic will be a better option for your application. You must know the types and sizes of all cables and hoses to be housed in the carrier. Then, you must calculate the minimum cavity height and width of the largest cable or hose. Knowing the cable and hose's bend radius will help you determine the carrier's bend radius. Also, it is critical to know the machine's total travel distance. Finally, you must consider load, speed, and unsupported travel lengths when sizing and specifying a cable carrier. The load not only takes into account the total weight of the cables and hoses in the carrier, but also the weight of any fluids in such hoses in pound per feet. For more information, visit www.wireandcabletips.com and click on Basics.